Hi Wavy Curlies, welcome back. So today I am going to talk about humidity and dew point. What's the difference? Does it matter? And how can we clarify it without just repeating scientific jargon? So when I first started my curly journey and I kept hearing dew point, I thought, I don't really get it. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to like go on, on the humidity. And so I just thought and used the humidity um, as a reference point for how humid or moist or damp or muggy the air felt, which is fine as long as it's summer. Because when we use percentages, which humidity is always given in percentage because its true name is relative humidity, it is relative to the temperature. So if the temperature is high, the humidity is going to be higher. If the temperature is lower, the humidity is going to be lower at any given percentage. So just like 75% of $10 is not that much, but 75% of $1,000 is a lot. So the dew point is the actual dollar amount, right? It's the actual value. Um, it's, it's not this arbitrary percentage that doesn't mean anything unless you know the other number. And that other number in terms of dew point would be the temperature, right? So, okay, so um, then I realized that I, it would help me to understand the dew point, but as I tried to, I didn't quite get it. So I, I finally gotten it, and um, I wanted to try to share it with you, and maybe in a little bit easier way to understand and see if it helps you at all um, by explaining it like that. So if we have 75% humidity um, and it's 80 degrees out, then the dew point is 71 degrees. The dew point is high because the temperature is high, which means that the moisture content in the air is high. But if we have 40 degrees and a 75% humidity again, then the dew point is only 33 degrees. Um, that is a lower um, dew point. It's lower moisture in the air because the temperature was lower. So it's really arbitrary to say, oh my gosh, I had a great hair day and it was 75% humidity. <laughs> because if we don't know what your temperature was, we have no idea if that's referencing a lot of moisture in the air or not very much moisture in the air. It doesn't give us enough information. So if you want to use the um, humidity percentage when referencing your hair, then give the temperature so it makes it it's relative, so it makes it something we can hang our hat on and understand the whole picture. Um, if you're not going to give that, then just give the dew point because if we know the dew point is going to basically relate to temperatures. The higher a dew point, the more moist the air is going to feel, and the lower the dew point, the less moisture in the air, and the less problematic until we get really low. So generally speaking, in the curly community, we think of 40 to 60 as kind of a happy curl zone, but your hair may be a little bit different. It may be, if you're lower porosity, you can be maybe good towards that 60, I'm high porosity, so I cannot, I don't have really good hair over 55 for sure, um, dew points. My dew points can go into the 20s. I can go really low. Um, my hair tends to lose moisture fast, especially in humid weather because, right, your hair opens up and, and then all the moisture leaves. But in the cold weather, it's, the cuticle tends to stay um, closed a little bit more and I can just kind of um, protect my hair with various products. So I uh, hope that helps. Remember, it's all relative when it comes to humidity, just like it is with, you know, if it was your commission that you were earning and you earned 75% commission on um, a job, you wanted, you'd want to know how much the job is going to pay to know whether it's worth it, um, if that's a big amount or a little amount. So the dew point, big amount, big humidity, low dew point, low humidity. So we can't get that same picture as much, quite as much from the actual humidity percentage, right? 75% could be really low humidity if it's cold out, but um, you know, a percentage of humidity like 50% could be really humid if the temperature's 105 degrees or something. So I hope that clarifies it um, just by understanding that Humidity, remember, is a percentage. It's relative to the temperature. And if we want to know what that actual value is, that value is the dew point. So the dew point tells us the whole story with just one number, whereas humidity, that story needs to be told with the temperature and the humidity percentage to get the same information. Let me know if you have any questions, if that was helpful, um, clear as mud. Anyway, I'll try to clarify or see what I can do. Um, and hopefully that helped you. Um, let me know where you are in your journey and, and how things are going for you. And I hope to see you again on another video soon. Bye.